<laughs> He's live. What up, Tony C? How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, considering the circumstances. How are you, brother? It's so weird because we're it's so high energy and we just giggle and you just make my day every time I talk to you. But I guess we do have to lead in somber uh, with a little bit of this. Where are you currently quarantined and sheltering? Uh, we're at home right now. So um, we're we're quarantined or sheltered. I did the uh, I braved the Trader Joe's yesterday. That's tough. Whenever and, uh, you have to, you have to get those uh, walnuts and uh, and spinach leaves that you survive on. And that's all I bought. <laughs> that's it. Walnuts huh? and spinach leaves. Well, that's how you get the physique you get, and that's how you can be shirtless so much in the righteous gemstones, huh? Dude, that's, can you see my titty flexing? <laughs> I sure can. I sure can. And you brought the heat with the hat. And the too. light. Yeah. Well, dude. So this one. Oh man, the hair actually looks really good. <laughs> um, Far be it from you to hat. rock a, to rock a pro wrestler look, my friend. Uh, bro, I've been talking about this a lot, but I am ready. Okay, here's a great idea. Right now we're quarantined. Let's set up a green screen. I'm just gonna do wrestling promos. Go on. We'll put it all together. We'll do like a Hulu sick series about wrestlers in the late 80s early 90s and you just act out all of their moves yeah it's a one-man show at least, uh, if only i had my wigs do we still i kind of like where he's frozen at is the best oh there you are tony you're back am i am i there because on my you're screen there. i look great you're great but you're good okay yeah well you always look great even in quarantine did you just get done working out <laughs> Uh, no, that was earlier today. Okay. Well, good. Okay. So you're staying safe. You're ransacking yep. Trader Joe's. Uh, yep. Family's happy, healthy, everything moving forward. Are you getting a lot uh, done? Yeah. Thank Are God you, everybody's. Good. Yeah. It's strange times. Are you getting a lot done creatively? I mean, you're actor and, and you, you, you work all the time anyway. So I didn't know yeah. if this would be something that would change up your situation. The So... I, I'm so high speed and locked yeah. in most of the time. So it's really hard for me to ch chill. Um, so, um, it has been a lot of, uh, creative stuff going on, but I've also been trying to take my time to like catch up on the books that I've had stacking up. Right. So I've read like at least three books already. It's quite a bit. Which is cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. What, what are you still, are you and your wife still working on the podcast? Uh, yes, actually. I was just emailing about it right before I hopped on. Slop the podcast. Check it out. People absolutely need to check that out. I, uh, yeah, slop the podcast on Instagram, uh, slop the podcast.com. Check out our merch. Unfortunately, we're always sold out. <laughs> I know a guy who could help you with that. Um, okay, let's, let's get to this. Last time you were on. You previewed this uh, quaint little show that you just said was going to be a, an indie darling hit, and it turns into <laughs> it turns into a monster. You called it, my friend. Righteous Gemstones on HBO. I uh, a couple questions to start things off. Did it play out? You were a very big supporter of it. You made no bones about that it was going to be fantastic, and you're like looking at us like, no, no, no. I mean this. This isn't just come to my show. It'll be funny. This was a big deal to you and the writing was perfect. The characters were amazing. Did it play out how you thought it would? I mean, you were there, you acted through the scenes, like seeing it on, I'm assuming you watched it. Was it everything that yeah. you thought it would be? Uh, yeah. And then some, I mean, I just, you never, I mean, sometimes it's like, you just never know. And this one was just like, I mean, am amazing from top to bottom. And I just remember watching the pilot for the first time and being like, I've never seen anything like this where it's like, I'm, I know I'm freezing up, but I've never seen anything like this where it's, I mean, hysterical some moments and then you're laughing and then like you feel like guilty that you're laughing because you just laughed right into like a totally gut-wrenching dramatic moment. Right. You know what I mean? I think maybe that says something about me and the people that enjoy it because it's almost like a, you can't just let yourself be. You need those extremes to have. It's almost like addict behavior. 
Oh my God. A hundred percent. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a total dream dude. And how, and how much people love the character of Keith is pretty <laughs> well. Let's, wild. If you're not familiar with it, uh, Edie Patterson, John Goodman, uh, <laughs> I'm just Danny McBride, everybody, whatever you have, I just name those and, and your boy, um, I'm, I'm trying to think, uh, Adam, 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 that guy is a, he's an A-lister himself. You have all these great actors and I hear, and I just, I wanted to shout you out. And I think I texted you. I was like, I'm listening to Edie. Who's, who's one of the leads on Mark Maron's podcast and Mark Maron stops. And he's like, who's (laughs) Keith? And you just owned that scene and just, and it, it's so funny because of, of that character. And if you all haven't seen it, it's the most ridiculous character. Uh, we've all gotten, spoiler alert, we've all gotten real familiar with uh, Tony's actual yes. sack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that, I mean, in the dirt, you uh, you had some crazy stuff going on when you played Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. I know you've done a million yeah. things. Knowing this is on HBO, knowing that, you know, you're tied to John Goodman, all these great actors, writers, all these wonderful people. Uh, any hesitation to go with your own sack there? I was the one that pitched it. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one. We're there. And David, the director, is like, okay, we got to get up underneath Tony even further. I want to get right up underneath his chonch. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not opposed to pull a nut out. <laughs> and, yeah. and And then he was like, why don't you audition that for me? <laughs> His trailer was so nice. <laughs> and then we shot, we shot the scene and David came over crying, <laughs> crying. <laughs> I watched a lot of the righteous gemstones with my parents and my mom. Oh, like, yes. And my mom's like, Oh, that's Tony. The Yeah. To- oh, Hey, Tony. <laughs> so wonderful work, sir. Uh, Thanks, man. <laughs> it Thanks it so had much. to be a blast, and you all are coming. It tell me this, um, and I hope I'm not getting too nerdy on this, but it felt like it was made to in case HBO came back to you and was like, eh, "Plug pulled." Uh, that one season could have stood alone on its own. Do you know if it was yeah, written to I, be that way? Well, I don't. It's interesting because um, I hate that I'm. Hold on. I'm going to take this off of Wi Fi. We'll see if it works off of Wi Fi. We'll give it a whirl. Now that's even worse. Oh, we got you back. If you guys have questions for uh, Tony, you can uh, ask in the comments. We'll try and incorporate a few of those in throughout the uh, okay. interview. For sure. So we were talking about it. Do you think that it was written to be one season or to at least safeguard against that? We can see you, brother. (laughs) This is almost an artistic moment. (laughs) (laughs) Tony Cavallaro. Slop the podcast. Slop the podcast. Uh, Hold on. Okay, there we go. I don't know if we're back or not, but I'm going to keep talking. So I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) This is like a bit. (laughs) This is, this is so good. Uh, Tony, th- you've, you've worked at the Groundlings for years for this moment, so just keep working through it. Am I frozen? Kind of. <laughs> We're seeing like a slow, a slow version of you, but that's all right. Uh, we, do have, we do have one question that I think you can uh, show us. Uh, one, uh, Andrew asks, how long is Tony's shirt today? Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good length. Okay, good, good. It's We're good accustomed, <laughs> accustomed it's a good to Tony. In, uh, it's a solid length. Okay, it's good, a solid good. length. That could be a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the back man. could be a little bit longer. But oh, the there front you are. Is good. Yeah, you're fading it. Okay, I think you're back. I think you're back. Tell the story oh, quick. Sick. God damn it. <laughs> Why am I freezing up so much? I don't know. Should I call back? Uh, there you go. Back? Keep it. Keep it right there. Okay, I'm going to keep it right here. I'm not going to move it. Um, <laughs> Hang okay, on. Okay, real quick. I'll, I'll be on your team. 
rapid <laughs> rapid fire answers. Um, I oh, where did where'd you go? Oh, there you are. We're going full screen. <laughs> we we like. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. Give him a full screen. He deserves it. The guy's earned you it. Deserve the full screen. All right. So here's the deal, guys. I had no idea that it was going to be a standalone piece. But hey, wouldn't that be fun if each season was its own standalone thing? <laughs> oh man! Quick, quick! Ask me more. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what was it like wearing that uh, that red suit in the in the finale? We had to use an entire bottle of lube to get into it every single time. <laughs> uh, okay. Have you experienced any weird jealousy from uh, people in the in show business uh, that you were on par with? And then now that uh, Jim Stones blows up, are you kind of are people treating you a little different? I mean, I'm bugging you. Um, more. I mean, no, no comment as far as like professional people go. <laughs> Because if they are, that's their own fucking deal, and it has nothing to do with me. But Thank um, you. I tell you what, the, the the sweet people that come up to me and are fans of Keith, like, it's so funny because, like, I've even done, like, interviews. What, what did I work on? I did something. What did I do? I did something, like, right afterwards. Sure. An interview or something, and they met me. Whoever this person was met me and was like, oh, my God. Thank God, like you're a regular person. I thought you were going to be like this weird autistic guy, like you were on the show. <laughs> what's where's <laughs> where that? A dry cough, bro. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. What would who would Keith's first you need call? A sip? Yeah, what are you working you need on? A sip it? Of spin drift. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's why we have Tony on. Uh, <laughs> Uh, season two, like with the, with the COVID stuff, with everything else was writing halted. Were you working on the next season? How does that work in regards to production? We shot two days and then got shut down. Does that affect if you get to come back ever? Like, is there, is there I, like a startup I, stop cost? That yeah, screws there's you? nothing right now. I mean, originally we were delayed for two months, but I don't have any idea what's going to happen. This is not good. You know, I need to see yeah. four more seasons at least. Uh, something like this. Do you think it could go ten seasons, or do you do you think it it's best if it stays under six? I think Danny said something about six. Well, we think on the same level, so there's no surprise there. Uh, I think. Yeah. He said uh, something about that, which how he's. I think he said at some point longer than Eastbound. That makes sense. That was a little bit shorter. Uh, in regards to, I guess, opportunities for you, we're in weird, unprecedented times. I totally get that. Do you feel like yeah. this is going to give you another level up? Um, I mean, any kind of, I'm just pumped to be working, yeah. you know? Hold on one second. The dogs are biting. This is, this is classic COVID interview. Okay, take us on a journey. Hold on. If you're just tuning in, we got Tony Cavallaro. You know him from the Righteous Gemstones. You can follow him uh, on Instagram, Girls? It's Tony Cavallaro. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Either bring the ball up here so I can throw it or stop. That always works. You're, you're such an authoritarian, Tony. <laughs> yep. Uh, I no. lay the law, dude. You absolutely do. So this is this is something that you have to be thankful for in the moment. And you... <laughs> And you, and you, you would have to think that this will, this is just another beautiful piece on the mantle, right? The hard work is going to get you to where you're going next. Yeah, man. I mean, this is super awesome. I did a, um, I did a, a few episodes on this show called Miracle Workers on TBS. Hold on, I'm going to throw a can at them, an empty can, so okay. it's just going to yeah. frighten, frighten. Sure. Them. Hold on. And then I'll pick up the can later and recycle it. Because that's the kind of nature guy. Um, there they are. They learned a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Nice work. I do love the view. Thanks, Sunny dude. in California, man. Right? Just yeah. glorious. Just glorious. It is. Too. Um, do you guys want to meet the dogs? Yep. Who that's we got? Lucy. Hey, Lucy. That's what's Lucy. up? <laughs> Lucy is 14. Very nice. And her new hobby is eating poopy. Oh, fun. It's a fun thing to pick yeah. up. 
Uh, uh, it, there's a specific name for it. Yeah, some kind of a nu nutrition deficiency or something not solved yeah. by Trader Joe's walnuts. Um, nope. I know you got plenty to do. I do have a question. Uh, <laughs> can we go off of this, off your training, or is Keith modeled after anybody you've ever met in your life? Oh, um, not specifically. Um, I did do a character online with Josh McDermott, who plays Dr. Eugene on The Walking Dead, called The Insecurity Guards. And if you guys were to go to YouTube and do Josh McDermott and Tony Cavalier on Insecurity Guards, you'll see there's shades of Keith in there. And when I was prepping the character, my wife was like, you should do something like Insecurity Guards. And then I did that character kind of once, too, in the junior company at the Groundlings with my wife. And that's kind of who we modeled him off of. You did a hell of a job, my friend. And, uh, and you're taking care Thanks, of yourself. Bro. And you're safe and you're busy. Yep. I know you got yep. plenty to do. Slop the podcast, guys. Go check that out. Follow Tony on Instagram. Tony, yep. can we get can we get just like one flex on us or something? I feel like I need something aggressive from you before we let you. Oh, go. just one little one little yeah. flex? Hold on, just dude. I got the ring light. I got the ring light. Hold on. I'll give you guys a shirtless view. Hold on. Thank you. This is the content we come here for on virtual happy hour. Um so I just did a movie called We Broke Up that'll be out hopefully next year. And then um, I did I did a season of uh, uh, this cool show with Dana Radcliffe and Steve Buscemi called Miracle Workers <laughs> on, <laughs> on TBS. <laughs> and then, oh, dude. Thank you, Tony. What? Who's ready for that WWE show now? That's right. Tony, kisses, my friend. Stay safe. Say hello to the fam. Thank you so much, pal. Bye-bye. <laughs>